Hey, everyone. Uh, <laughs> welcome to our broadcast. We're so excited to have you here. We are um, right now interviewing Mary Jo Smith. We want to welcome her to our Women Entrepreneur Pajama Party interview series. This is where women with an entrepreneur spirit and women who are aspiring to be women entrepreneurs and also seasoned women entrepreneurs, so we don't want to leave anyone out <laughs> from coming together to share as we grow our community, gaining inspiration, mentoring, and the tools we need to grow our business as we grow ourselves. I am Cindy Cohen. I'm a registered nurse, and for 25 years, an entrepreneur, and for the last 17 years, the owner of C to Your Health LLC. And in 2018, I founded the nonprofit organization C to Your Health Women's Initiative. Tonight we have Mary Jo. Hi, Mary Jo. Here at our pajama party. See, we're all ready for bed. I have my hair all up and got my robe on and no makeup or anything. And Mary Jo's all ready for bed because, you know, as women entrepreneurs, we work late into the evening and we're always ready for bed, but we don't always get to go there. <laughs> so, Mary Jo has, yeah. been, has been retired. You say you've been retired since 2015 after 44 years in various business management and ownership positions. Mary Jo became an ordained minister in April 2016 and has had the honor and the pleasure of performing over 100 mm -hmm. wedding ceremonies. Wow, that's amazing. Mary Jo is also the current co-director of the Michiana chapter of Premier Women's Network, which is an amazing organization. It's so great. I've been a member a long time. I just love it. And she has had previously had the, the pleasure of being the director for the last four years. Since 2003, Mary Jo has been involved in semi-successful and successful in various direct sales businesses from a nutraceutical to easy to apply nail strips. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so each business came with its own challenges and educational opportunities, but like a real entrepreneur, Mary Jo stuck it out and each helped her to learn more about herself. Being in direct sales afforded her the opportunity to attend many networking events and meet some famous people too. So Mary Jo, thanks for joining us. You're uh, great. I should be so, in bed, but <laughs> I'm not. You, oh, well, you know, it's literary license. That's what we, that's what we have here. Yeah. So <laughs> just tell me, what what about you would you like us to know about you that I didn't already say? Oh, golly, that's a question I wasn't prepared for. Um, Maybe a bit about yourself. Like, oh, well, you're, I think you have a husband. I have, I have a husband. I consider him my rock. Um, there's a lot of times during my life I probably would not have gotten through some serious challenges if it were not for him. So he's one of those keepers. You know? That's great. And what about, so what about your background? Did you, like when you were in high school, what did you want to do when you grew up? Like I had no idea. <laughs> I got out of high school uh, and I got, I was pregnant and got married. My um, ex-husband um, was drafted into the army. That was during the Vietnam War. We were lucky enough to uh, spend it in Germany. So I lived in Germany for a year and a half. Wow, that's cool. Ooh, I still remember a few words. Du bist ein Lamasch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember the cuss words? <laughs> yeah, that <right. laughs> Everybody remembers the yeah, cuss words, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and then when I came back, I had no idea what I wanted to do, but I saw an ad in the paper and applied for it and uh, went for an interview, came back, and a few days later, they called me and they said, you start X, on X date and was with that company for 24 years. I was, I was raised in a, in a family that was, um, my mother worked at Balban for 40 years. My, my father worked at Studebaker for 30. So I came from a background that says, that's what you do. You work at one company until you retire. And I, about the age of 35, I got the entrepreneur bug. And oh, and you said, that's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, kept searching for something that fit me. So how did you, so how did you find your passion? Because you know what, during men, like I've been also mentoring like young women and 
Uh, I've had many college interns over the last 10 years. And they're always, the question always comes up like, well, how do you find your passion? Like, how, what do you, how do you even get started with that? So, you know, once you decided, I don't want to work for anyone else. I want to be my own boss. How did you kind of either, how did you decide? Like, did you just pick or did you kind of narrow it down or how do you know what to do? How do people know? No, I was kind of forced out um, by new ownership. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you have that kind of a giant leap in your life, you make decisions that you normally would not have made. Mm, that's and, true. Um, went into real estate, did real estate for about a year and a half, and then um, decided to go back and do what I had been trained to do, which was uh, office management and accounting. And I did that for a couple of years and then moved to another job and, and became a business owner part Part business owner. I had a partner, and we had that company for about seven years. Finally, so, what was that? What business was that? That was a calibration company. A what? A calibration company. Oh, you measured things. What did you measure? We verified. We verified the measurement of measuring things. That's okay. okay. It's, so it's like a ruler, a six-inch ruler. If you bend it like a metal one, if you bend it a little bit, it no longer measures six inches. Oh, so you calibrate it so it tells you exactly what it's measuring. Oh, that's really cool. That's what calibration is. Uh, that's a very small. So small. did you love? Did you love doing that? Or no? Um, it was just a I, I didn't do the calibration. I just ran the business. So did you love that? Like I, did. I because I'm an organized person. I enjoyed it. But then when we sold it, I just said, "Well, let's." I need to do something of my own. So I started a virtual assistant business because I figured I've got all this stuff yeah. in, my, in my brain. Let's put it to use. And I had that for about four years. Did and you love it? I actually no? did. I did. Yeah. So why but did you stop doing it? Because I started collecting Social Security and decided, well, you know, I've been working all my life. It's time to stop. And I kind of fired my last client. <laughs> Because we had an argument, so <laughs> I fired him. <laughs> and then you decided what it would be and then great I decided to I'd marry. Be fired. Decided so I'm you decide it would be great to marry people. No, Cause now you tell because now you have a business where you marry people. Now I do, and that came about because I have a couple friends that are in the area who are also ordained ministers. But what really convinced me was when they legalized um, same-sex marriage. And I thought that is a unique niche that yeah. will open up. And, and all these people that want to get married, they don't have anyone that's going to marry them. So I decided to do it. And now I love it. <laughs> wow, that sounds amazing. What a fun thing. Yeah. And to be able to marry people who thought they never would be ever to be married. Yeah. And then... And then also, like, you marry people who, like, don't want to get married by a minister or in a church, right? Well, like A lot of people these days don't have ministers. They don't belong to a church. To a so church. Want it. And, and um, the courthouses and the clerks uh, no longer do it. Uh, really? You can't just go to the courthouse anymore? Yeah. My husband and I got married in 85 at St. Joe uh, Courthouse in South Bend. Mm -hmm. But they don't do that anymore, so... That's that opens, interesting. That opens the door for people like me. That makes for a fun thing. So you know what? There's a score did a huge study um, last year about mentoring, and they found that people are business owners who receive mentoring. What, even just one mentoring mm -hmm. session, as little as one, increase their business by over forty percent. And of course, that business success improves with ever every like mentoring session after that. Mm -hmm. So in your, you know, travels and your business travels, what was uh, something that uh, someone shared with you that helped you in your business? And, you know, anyone could be a mentor. You can have a friend or a colleague or you can hire a mentor. So but is there someone who comes to mind that you think, oh, yeah, this person really gave me some great advice? And what would that be? Well, actually, in, uh, was it 2003, about the time you and I met, oh, oh. Um, 
a friend of mine got me involved in a, in a nutraceutical company and drug me screaming and kicking to the meetings because I did not want to go. It was, I just said, no, 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 no. Don't believe anything they're saying. Well, I fell for it. <laughs> but the training that they provided was phenomenal. And mm -hmm. I got a lot out of that. That that was not only about sales and how to sell the product, but also about personal development, about planning for the future, about setting your your goals. So yeah, I think good. I think you're right. I mean, in my experience, also if you get in with a really great direct selling company, yeah. um, you can get some really great Fortune 500, you know, business training. Oh, I know. Yeah. Like for myself, I spent literally thousands of dollars on business training and got much of the same training yeah. when I joined a direct selling company. So I 100% I agree with you. That's been, you know, my experience too. So, so now it's your turn. So you received some great mentoring. So now it's time for you to share with us some advice that you wished someone had told you when you first said, oh yes, I like really want to be my own boss you know, own my own business and I'm ready to get started and you got started. But now that you look back, you think, wow, I wish I knew this before I started. Is there some something in your experience that you could share with us that you wished you knew? Um, I think um, what I would share with everybody, because I've seen this happen too many times to people who have gotten, they're new to a company and they've uh, listened to all the hype going into the company and they think, oh, in 60 days, I'm going to be rich. And, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> and um, I, yeah, I, I had to learn that lesson hard, the hard way myself is that to build a company, whether it's a brick and mortar, whether it's a direct sales, whether it's coaching or anything else to build a company, it's going to take four to five years, period. And, and if you can stick it out for that period of time and keep going one foot in front of the other, you'll make it. Hmm, that's some great advice. Thank you. So one more thing, since we are health and wellness company too, mm -hmm. um, would you take a second and share with us what you do, um, even if it's a small thing, to try to help your health along and stay as healthy as you can? Because, you know, as entrepreneurs, we are our business. So if we get sick, <laughs> kind of the end of the business. So what would you say? Because you also have experience in that nutraceutical company. So what maybe one simple thing that you do that you think helps you stay healthy on your uh, journey towards success? Um, number one, I educate myself. I have an, I have I have enough wrong with me at age sixty eight to say okay. I need to be proactive about what I'm doing, but I also, it's very important to me that I exercise a minimum of 30 minutes every day. Oh, and that's that's great. Even if it's just walking, but I do. That's, that's great. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. So uh, why don't you, we want to help you too. It's not, you know, it's kind of a give and take the mentoring thing. So um, what can, what can we do to help you find your ideal client? So what, So we'd like to refer people to you, you know, thinking, oh, that service Mary Jo has is really great, Miss Shanna Blessings, and I wanna refer my friends to you. So what? how would I know who to refer to you? Um, we're looking for, are you, I, I try to specialize in the small and the simple weddings. I, you know, I, I've done a few of the larger ones and they don't bother me, but I, I really enjoy working close with the, the couples. So um, refer them. Uh, and most of my con, most of my referrals I do get from Thumbtack. I really do. I love Thumbtack. They what is that? Me. Like, what is that's, that? That's like Angie's List. Oh, um, okay. Only for specialized services. And, um, so they drive me nuts sometimes because they change every year. They've changed their system, <laughs> but I do, I do enjoy them. And that way, and I, otherwise my word of mouth, I don't think would have gotten me anything. Oh, not. Oh, so yeah, well, that's a very, 
Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't know a lot of people getting married. So yeah. it's, it's, a little, it's a little tough because, but you know, you can, you know, networking does get you out in the community, yeah. Yeah. you know, and helps you meet people and, and we all can help spread the word for you. So there's a lot of people on this call, so we can all help you too. <laughs> so Mary Jo, so is there any, what's next for you? You know, entrepreneurs are always trying new things. Are you wanting to add a new service to your marriage oh. business or are you going to take a vacation or write a book or? I, um, I don't, I, I hate getting bored. So in the last year I've gotten a, my master's in cannabis. So if you want to, if you want to know anything about cannabis, I can tell you. <laughs> um, and I've also become a um, certified travel agent. So that those two things have happened. And then just this last weekend, I did become involved with a, with a, a new advertising campaign oh. that, helps, that helps people get leads to their businesses. Oh, so, and that's oh, by great. giving away free vacations. Oh yeah. What a great, Oh, that sounds <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know what, at the, what's the best way to reach you? I'll, also connect to this broadcast, you know, your website and email and all that. But why don't you just share with us, like, what's the best way to reach you? Is it through your website or is it through a telephone call or email? What is it? The best way to reach me is Facebook Messenger. Find me okay. on Facebook and message me and I'm, um, I'll am i answer as quickly as I can. Usually the phone I'll ignore. <laughs> and I check my emails once a day, so... Messenger is the way to go. Okay, we'll yeah. make sure we get that yeah. link to everyone for you. So is there any last thoughts before we sign off here that you'd like to share? Or do you feel like you've pretty much, you know, shared what, everything you wanted to? Well, I have to say that I am really happy to be part of the Women's Summit because there are so many women out there who, um, they amaze me for one thing. Um and I, I enjoy seeing them share their knowledge, their experiences with others, because it's the others that they're, they're, they're hesitant to ask for help. So as long as we keep talking to them, they may learn that they little bits and pieces here and there. Oh, I think it's all about community. And that's really what this our TV program is about bringing women entrepreneurs and also women who are looking to become entrepreneurs together as a community, because I think as a group, we are isolated because we're pulled through, you know, so many ways from our family and husbands and, you know, the things we have to do at home and then also stress of daily life. And then maybe work in an eight to five job and then work in your entrepreneur job. It's just a lot going on. And we just, really don't ask for the help to help us move forward. And women can be such great encouragers to each other. And that's really what this is all about. So we're so glad to have you part of it too. So thank you for joining us and taking time uh, to work your business, not just taking time to work on your business, not just in your business. C2 Health Women's Initiative Inc. is a 5013C, a nonprofit organization supporting seasoned entrepreneurs and providing women entrepreneur mentoring to high school girls, college girls, and women from low income neighborhoods with a health and wellness focus. On November 19th, which is National Women's Entrepreneurship Day, we'll be celebrating with our annual Women's Entrepreneur Summit, which Mary Jo was just talking about here in South Bend, Indiana. To get involved, learn more about the summit, learn about our organization, how to volunteer, and and or to make a donation to our scholarship program, go to our website, www.c2yhwi.org. That's C2 Health Women's Initiative, initials.org. Until next time, stay healthy, stay connected, and stay you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Mary Jo. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>